everybody, it's Mama J. And Wingles the Elf. We're here with day 17. Almost there. Almost. So, don't forget guys, um, that you're watching for the 12 days. And you're going to only get 10. So don't forget. So today, what we're going to do though, is we're going to discuss some, I guess, traditions around the world. Okay. I just looked up a few that kind of caught my attention. Um, I know that, you know, there's like basic traditions, like some people open Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. Some open on Christmas Day. Some sp people spend Christmas Day traveling to everybody's house to say hi. You know, um, I don't know what's going to happen with 2020. <laughs> you know, we're going to have a lot of different rules. You're going to be Skyping everyone's house to say hi. <laughs> Skyping everyone's house. Um, but some of the things I looked up were, for example, in Sweden, do you know that they build this big goat made out of like straw, like hay? And every Christmas since 1960s, they burn the goat down. Okay. I don't know why. I, you know what? I didn't really read all that. I just, I was amazed. It was in one of the little fact things that they do this goat. And then every year, it's kind of like a tradition for luck. They burn the goat down. Okay. Kind of crazy, huh? Yeah. You know? Uh, do you know what the Italians do? <laughs> what do they do? Um, they don't get gifts from Santa Claus. I mean, I'm sure some do, but this is like one of the traditions, you know. They don't get gifts from Santa Claus. They get gifts from Bifana. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. And Bifana stands for giver of gifts. Um, she rides around on a broom. I'm pretty sure that's just a witch. Um, she is um, enters same way Santa does, like through chimneys and all of that. Uh, she's considered very ugly, but very kind. Okay. So I think she is like a form of a witch, but she delivers presents. So a little something different, because you know... For the bad kids, instead of coal, you get a potion that turns you into a toad. <laughs> well, some European countries, they do have the evil equivalent to Santa Claus. Do you know who that is? Krampus. Yes. He's real. Is he? Have you met him? Unfortunately. Were you running for your life? Uh, you don't really get a chance to run. <laughs> okay. Um, kind of weird, you know, I mean, some kids really fear Krampus. You know. Um, Slovakia. Do you know what some of their traditions are? What is theirs? Uh, households, the oldest man in the house gets to toss pudding to the ceiling on Christmas Day. Now, I'm sure, like I said, all of these have, I'm sure, some either religious or, um, uh, you know, something like that for the reason that they do all this. Um, but they it's called laksa pudding, and the eldest male of the household throws it at the ceiling on purpose. Like a food fight with the ceiling. Okay. So one of the other ones I looked up was Argentina. And for Christmas, the mothers and the grandmothers buy the other women in the household pink underwear for Christmas. Okay. Reason being is they hope that by wearing that pink underwear on New Year's Eve, you will find love and happiness. Okay. By wearing the pink underwear you received for Christmas. Interesting. It is very interesting. Um, Norwegians, they believe trickery may be a foot or a broom on Christmas Eve. They lock away all the brooms in case a witch or a sorcerer is hanging around. Sounds like, uh, the witch from the other place that yeah. you talked about. No <laughs> She's kidding, trying to come right? Pick your brooms. Yep, no kidding, right? But yeah, they say, um, that they lock away all the brooms and stuff just in case. Kind of crazy, huh? You know, it's weird what, you you know, what other places do, but for them, that's the normal. Yeah. You know, um, 
in Venezuela, there's a small town where Christmas Eve mass, they get there by wearing rollerblades. And because they close so many roads throughout the town that a lot of them pull out their, it's a tradition. They pull out their rollerblades and they rollerblade to mass. Okay. Crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess if the town's small enough, you know, no need to be driving there. Yeah, sure. So, uh, Finland on Christmas Eve visits the graves of the loved ones lighting candles in their memory. Which is not out of the normal. A lot of people will go to the cemetery on holidays and stuff and light candles. Or, like here, you can go and you'll see small trees or poinsettias, things like that, that people leave at the, you know, the grave sites. Um, now, in South Africa, they eat deep fried caterpillars on Christmas Eve. That is a tradition. No, well, thank you. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, there's just a couple little different things in different places. Um, any traditions at the North Pole that we don't know about? Um, no, nothing unusual. We see it all. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, you know, I know when I was growing up, like, one part of my family with my grandparents, we did Christmas my grandparents, my godparents, all of them on Christmas Eve. And then my immediate family did Christmas on Christmas Day. So, um, you know, like everybody does different things to work it out based on how many different members of the family there are and stuff, you know. So, let's get on to our advent calendar. Right, let's see what we got today. Day 17. Almost done with that row. Almost. We're getting there. It's in another one of the weird bags. Sound like it was jingling. <laughs> and we got oh. Master Roshi. Didn't we have him before? We did. It's got to be something different. Maybe he didn't have sunglasses on? I think he did. I don't know. Well, we'll see, because we're going to pull them all out on the very last day and show them all off again. Okay. Yeah, not really sure what the difference is on that one. Maybe it's a chase. Maybe it's a chase. Maybe, right? Maybe, like, the coloring's different. All right, so I'm going to assume mine's going to be a sticker. Oh. Thinking of it. I bet you it glows in the dark. Oh, that's a possibility. I was trying to see if like, there's anything different with the paint. Possibility. So we have um, onward, we had the two brothers. So now we are on day 17, which I'm going to assume is a sticker. Yeah, it looks like a sticker door. Yeah. It is a sticker. Yeah. It's the diamond. Phoenix gem. Yep. So that's pretty cool. All right, we're getting right there. We're almost to the end. All right, so mini mystery time, and today is your turn. Yep. Try to get something you ain't got to build. I'll try not. <laughs> oh, what'd you get? I got uh, Looney Tunes mashups. All right. And I got Daffy Duck. Oh. <laughs> now you take out my knee and just kind of squeeze them. But they look like they got big heads. Can I see? Oh, they do got kind of big heads. These are the type of things that as soon as you tuck, drop them on the floor, they are done for. Yeah, because they'll pick up everything because they're sticky. Yep. But it's kind of cool. It's very cool. All right. So, that's day 17, guys. We are down to what? We will have made it for 24 days. So make sure you guys are watching our lives. Make sure that you're watching the videos to get the giveaway um, clue each day. I mean, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, 
We'll see you in day 18. Bye.